The angle subtended by an arc at the centre of a circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. To illustrate what this means, here is an arc between the two points R and Q on a circle. The chord is also shown as a dashed line. We can draw lines from R and Q to the centre, and they form an angle B. We can also draw lines from points R and Q to some point P on the circumference, and they form an angle A. The angle B will always be twice the angle A. Depending on the positions of the three points, the drawing might not look exactly like the one here. We will look at a couple of these cases and then prove the theorem. If we move P to a different position on the circumference, the lines cross over. This makes the diagram look a bit different. However, it is still the same situation. It is an arc making an angle B at the centre and A at the circumference. So B will still be twice A. We can increase the size of the arc. Eventually the arc will become larger than 180 degrees. At this point the arc becomes a major arc. It is bigger than half the circumference. This means that angle B is a reflex angle. That is, an angle of greater than 180 degrees. The important thing to remember is that the angle B is always inside the sector containing the arc, and angle A is always in the opposite sector. Don't be tempted to draw the angle B here, that would be incorrect. Here is a proof of this result. First we divide the main triangle PQR into three smaller triangles. We will look at the triangle PQO. This is an isosceles triangle because two sides PO and QO are radii and therefore have equal lengths. This means that the angles at the base of the triangle are also equal. These angles have size X. Now look at the triangle PRO. This is also an isosceles triangle with two equal angles. The angles have size Y. The triangle RQO is also isosceles with base angles Z. Looking at the entire triangle PQR, the angle P is X plus Y, angle Q is X plus Z, and angle R is Y plus Z. Since the three angles add up to 180, this means that X plus Y plus X plus Z plus y plus z is 180. We can rearrange this to say that 2x plus 2y plus 2z is 180. This diagram shows the triangle with angles a and b from the original. This tells us that a equals x plus y. This means that 2a equals 2x plus 2y. We can use the previous equation 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals 180. Replacing 2x plus 2y with 2a gives 2a plus 2z equals 180, which means that 2a equals 180 minus 2z. Now we will look at the triangle RQO. The angle O has value B. The two base angles each have value Z. Since it is a triangle, the three angles B plus Z plus Z add up to 180. So B is 180 minus 2Z. This is exactly the same equation for 2A. This proves that B equals 2A. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or visit graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.